about two years ago, Dr. McGinley, I was at a meeting uh, that she called, and it was about what can we do to get more kids into the classroom the first day of school. So we did a few things that year. I put some officers around the school and tried to help. And then she met with us a second time, which was last summer, and said, look, we've really got to get better attendance the first day of school. So we started thinking about what we could do to help the superintendent of the schools get the kids in the classroom. And that's where the community panel stepped up. And we dreamed up this idea of starting a campaign called It's Cool to Be in School. And uh, Pastor, Robbins, or, uh, Pastor Wright is going to talk a little bit about what he did last summer and then what he's going to do this year. But this is all about getting kids into the classroom that first day of school so that they're with their peers and they're learning. Uh, what we do know is that our prison system is comprised of about 60% of the people in American prisons are high school dropouts. And so that all starts at the elementary age, having good behaviors and being in the classroom. So that's, that's why the police department is really pushing it, why we're really involved, and then it's just expanded and doing some very neat things for our needy children. Two years ago, we had 3,000 students absent the first two or three days of school. And that first week matters. That's when classes get organized. That's when information goes home to parents. And when students miss that first week, they're behind from day one. And very often, they never catch up. So thanks to the efforts and the partnership that we have with the North Charleston Police Department and the uh, community in North Charleston, including the communities of faith, last year, that number was reduced by 1,000 students. And I really do credit Reverend Wright and, and the leadership that is standing behind me for reaching out in a very proactive way, knocking on doors, making sure parents knew when school started, get, getting school supplies, backpacks, um, uniforms, and clothing for children who may not have been ready to go to school. So this is a true community partnership. It's paying off in the classroom, and I really want to thank the chief and Mayor Summy for everything that they have done to make North Charleston students better prepared for success in school this year. Our initiative this year is to reduce the number, uh, even the greater from last year. Uh, we had an awesome time on last year. What we did was went back to our ground roots and where we placed the responsibility of children being in school uh, back on the ability of parents in the home. And so what we did was we got a group of uh, community panels, North Charleston Police Department, teachers, whoever would help us. And we went from door to door, handing out flyers, uh, announcing the first day of school, finding out data, why were children missing school? What was the reason why? Uh, one of the greater uh, numbers that we found out was 51% of the children that were missing were from the North Charleston area. And uh, a greater number was from our elementary and middle school students. What we realized was was a lack of material, lack of supplies, lack of whatever you know the case may be. So we wanted to kind of knock on the doors, get a heads up, talk to the parents, introduce ourselves. Not only that, but we felt like our goal was the more children we have in school, the less our crime would be on the streets as far as teenagers are concerned. Last year, um, we have families who do not uh, bring their children to the first day of school. But because of this initiative, because they have been knocking on doors previously, we had more children show up for the first day of school. And not only that, we had resource officers in our school building on that first day collecting information of children who did not show up and actually going out into the community to find these children. And I will say it was 100% effective. All of our children were found and they were all present on the first day of, uh, on the first week of school, which as Dr. McGinley said, is so important to children to start on time for school so they don't feel behind their peers in the classroom. We're excited about it. It's going to be a great year and we're looking to tell our children and parents it's cool to be in school.